This is the FM Touch program for A1 Smart Shopper. We're in the main screen to start the program. Uh, the purpose of the screen and the program is to add individual shopping trips. In this particular case, we're going to be shopping or past shopping on Wednesday, October 29th, 08. We went to Bashes. This is a drop down list that allows you to see the stores that you have that you may be shopping at. You can have more than one per day per shopping trip or you can add additional stores by using the edit store button at this point. You can create a shopping list for the day's travel as far as where you're going, whatever stores you're going to. This is a portal so you can add as many items in this list as you would like. As you put them in your shopping basket you check that you've shopped for them and you have them. There's a drop down list here that has a list of all the items that you've added to your product uh, sales that you may be purchasing and you can pick it from this list to add it and the associated information should come in to this file. Once again this is a portal so you can add as many items as you want. At the end of the shopping trip it will show you the amount that you've actually purchased minus tax and then there's a text area down in the bottom to add comments if you missed items during the day that were not in stock. Going back up we can go down and look at the actual product you can create products and add them to your inventory we showed you in the drop down. This is a product listing which is a very large screen. This would be used on the computer to print or review the inf information for the items that you purchased. It will also show you the average price, what you paid for them, and what stores you bought them at for comparison for price savings. Items purchased. This is a for the portal for the information for each individual item and record that you purchased them under and which date it was done. Purchase by store. This particular report is really nice in that it shows you the individual items on the date that you were out and what was actually purchased and the total for those in a report format so you can see it. Now These are the days that you actually were in the store and made these purchases. This is a summary report that allows you by ch clicking on the button by the name of the store to go to that particular store and see what you've actually purchased there. And the final one is the purchase list that we talked about a little bit before. And the total purchases are summed at the bottom of the screen. So it gives you a rounded up number of all the items that you purchased for all the stores and the individual amounts that you purchased within each store to the period of time or the number of trips that you've made there. Hope you like this tour. If you have any questions, please go to the main screen on YouTube where we have a, a list of our blog where you can read more information about this particular item. Thank you.